Hey team, welcome back to HG Designs Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, and if you are brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. And if you're returning, what's good, what's happening? I hope that you are tickety-boo, wherever you are, that you're all good. You've had some crochet time, and hopefully things are A-OK -okay in your life. <laughs> now, you probably know that granny squares are my thing. Like, you can see a few around. Granny squares are my thing. And it's probably fair to say that if you are here, granny squares are also your thing. So today's vlog is called I Heart Granny Squares. And it is an edit of all of the granny square things that I've been noticing on Instagram and YouTube that I wanted to share with you. Today's vlog, we are visiting all things granny square. Oh, how I love you. Beautiful granny squares. On my Instagram, I save everything into collections. I see a post, boop, save. And I have an entire collection called a granny squares. And what I do is explore shows me all the good stuff delivers all of the granny square goodness to me and i go on and i like it and i comment and i'm usually like love this heart eyes i need this more hearts and then i save it to my collection for later and then it got me thinking that i need to share all of these i should not be gatekeeping because i need to spread that granny square magic so here we are grab a cup of something nice grab your snacks i have my snacks i have pick and mix mm, mm, mm. if you are in the united kingdom if you know you know grab your snacks grab your projects and let's go through my i heart granny square edit okay so i have my mac here i have taken really detailed notes so please forgive me for giving eye contact in this direction. I'll be putting screenshots and all sorts up for your viewing pleasure. I feel like an air hostess. Thank you and enjoy your flight. Let's jump right in. I have got four must-see patterns as well as a little roundup as well at the end of granny square things you need to be aware of. Okay, pattern number one, we're going to go straight in. This is a new release and it's called The Fields of Daisy Throw by Pauline. And they are at Making Polly. I'll show you on screen now and I'm also going to have a look myself. First of all, I'll eat your brains. Hmm. Don't get distracted. Just because you're on Instagram does not mean you can get distracted. Don't do it to yourself. Me, every time I go on to post and then I end up scrolling. Okay, Make and Polly, Pauline. Um, crochet designer, tech editor, and she has a Scottish flag in her bio, which makes me think that she is very close to where I am. I mean, we're in the United Kingdom. And my grandmother and my mother are Scottish, so you know, we're almost neighbours. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. The Fields of Daisy um throw. I'm not sure how somebody had this posted in their stories and I was like, oh I have had the idea of making like floral related granny squares for some time, but I haven't acted on it. And this idea took itself the floral granny and it has been manifested beautifully by pauline so it should be on the screen for you now this is a granny square blanket using solid granny squares um and they are like a modern color block daisy i really like the colors they're so fresh purple yellow and then it looks like a corally pink turquoise i would totally go in there with hdc colors without a doubt and then the background is like a checkerboard effect of solid granny squares in what looks like two shades of green for the field honestly absolutely love this it looks like it uses paint box iron yarns there's actually a reel on here i don't know if 
first of all i'll eat your brains i think i can do a screen recording and put that in so that you can see the reel but anyway you should totally go and check out um pauline's page and see her working on it it's gorgeous i absolutely love it now i did check and this pattern is on sale in issue 94 of crochet now magazine i think that's just available in the uk but i'm sure you can get it elsewhere love 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 before we move on i have to talk about this it's granny square related of course <sighs> i was featured i was spoken about on the grocery girl podcast what I was getting like a little influx of followers and I wasn't entirely sure what had caused it. Like I couldn't see any of my posts going viral. And then I had a message, I had a few messages actually like, FYI, you've been spoken about on the Grocery Girl podcast. And I was like, what? They have like 52,000 followers. They've got massive online presence and they spoke about me. And then at the time I was on holiday, so I didn't have enough Wi-Fi to watch the podcast. But since then I came home, it's like the first thing we did is we put it on so that we could watch it. It's episode 178, I'll link it below. And I've got a little screen recording to show you some of um, my mention, but obviously you need to go on their podcast i'm so excited i can't even word you need to watch it on their podcast so you, that you can on their channel so that you can hear the audio i got featured oh my gosh like <laughs> thank you thank you thank you to the grocery girls for talking about my designs i had a nice little flurry of people come and find me after that um and it was all for this jumper which is my revival jumper oh so so cool okay second pattern everyone is wearing it everyone is wearing it and that is the Patchwork Bomber by Auburn.Threads on Instagram. So this is an oversized cardigan slash jacket. It's like got a relaxed vit, vit, fit. Relaxed fit, slightly cropped, and it is a beautiful. It's got these granny squares on there, and it's not like this traditional granny square. It's a mix of different stitches, so you've got like puff stitches and in effect it looks like a solid color flower of sorts there's loads of texture and i just i really really want to make one of these actually um each square has a visible join so rather than the join as you go like they have been seamed together and then you can see that very visibly and the seaming color is also the same color that is used for the rib and it's got a really deep rib around the hem and then it's got like a deep rib around the neckline i think you could make this into a real stash buster because you could make each square a different color um you could really use up bits of yarn that you've got left over and this pattern uses worsted weight yarn which is weight four and it calls for either a four a five or a six mil hook now i had a look and this pattern is available on etsy lovecrafts ribbler and kofi and i went on the kofi listing and it states that there's one size but with notes on how to alter it for different sizes so i'm hoping that it's size inclusive but i haven't actually downloaded this um pattern so i do not know it is in english with us terms and i think i should probably say that the field of daisies is probably in english with british terms but i am guessing that one and there are if you go onto the designers um page and they are called ar if you go on their page, they have it pinned at the top and then also they've got a couple of other um, posts and it shows 
what other people have used basically so they are also working on the cardigan version and they have just called for testers for that so it's just going through the test process at the moment it's gorgeous gorgeous so that's definitely one to keep an eye on for that release and you can get started on the bomber jacket right now and then the third pattern is coming soon and this is the grandad waistcoat by beth of realm designs now her entire brand is goals like go have a look at her instagram in the words of her instagram bio she is a one woman making crocheted clothing earrings and accessories and she's all about slow fashion and sustainability and all of the colours and all of the designs are a vibe. Now, this waistcoat, as I said, is currently in the test. Did I say that? It's coming soon. As I said, this waistcoat is coming soon. It's actually being tested at the moment. I know that because I am one of the testers. I'll make sure that I link below when this is released so you can get a copy. Now, the details, the details, the details. The grandad waistcoat is literally a grandad waistcoat made out of granny squares and Beth posted saying she was looking for testers and I was just like Me! I want to do it! Now it calls for Aran weight yarn and she uses cotton yarn and I... Let me grab mine, let me grab mine um. I decided to order paint box cotton aron yarn. I will link it below so you can get some of this if you want. Um, I have got the pure black. And then I think this one is called tea rose or something like that. And then there are a few other shades. I'm not even going to pretend that I know what they are. <laughs> but basically I've got this raspberry pink and the purple and like a almost lilac -y colour and that is the colour scheme for my entire grandad uh, waistcoat. I did order more colours and I was going to make it all different colours and then as I was working on these I realised I just wanted the whole thing to be this. Um, so I've actually started making the pieces and as the test finishes tomorrow this is one of today's jobs is to get this a done. So once it is done, I'll be sure to post an update. And then I went and got these buttons. Can you see them? They're a Diamante heart design. I just love hearts, so I figured let's go all in. And I love a little bit of bling. And I just know that these are gonna look so good. The buttons are from Hobbycraft. I think it was like £2.80 for four. And I can't stuff that in like that. I need to make one more granny square, join it all together and weave in the ends and do the rib and the buttonholes. So there is a fair amount to do, but I've got quite a bit of editing to do today because I'm recording and that's what I'm going to do whilst editing and that's just living in a organza bag at the moment. I'm thinking I'm going to make my grandad waistcoat cropped. Everything I wear is cropped. I think it will look really cute with like a close fit t-shirt with like cap sleeves and the grandad waistcoat on top and then like leather shorts or potentially some sort of flowy skirt for spring slash summer or like a, a flowy dress and then you put that over the top yeah that's what i'm going with so that's the grandad waistcoat by beth of realm designs okay team quick ad break i'm not sponsored but one day i will be so i figured i'll practice i'll practice the way i'm going to be when i have 
these brand deals and sponsorships and so without further ado this episode this I Heart Granny Square edit is brought to you by HG Designs Crochet. Now, Granny Squares are my thing and I have released a blanket very, very recently that is very, very dear to my heart. It is called Love Struck and it was designed by me when I was, I had a newborn. Teddy was about two to three weeks old and I just had so, so much love for him, still do that I needed to make him his very own granny square heart blanket and so I did. As I said I craved orange so I made this in orange for him. It's a very simple blanket, super effective. The colourful granny squares make a heart motif and then the border is my signature HGDC border. If you want to get yourself a copy of this pattern so that you can make an heirloom for a loved one in your life, whether it be somebody that's expecting a new baby or you have your own little bundle of hands and feet that you want to wrap up every night in love, then please click the link below and get that. And if you've already bought this pattern, thank you so, so much. Please, please, please leave a review. And if you tag me on social media, then I can thank you in person myself. Give me a moment to read out one of my favorite reviews of my Love Struck blanket. It's from Rachel and she said, I absolutely loved making this blanket. It was such a calming and meditative make and the pattern was extremely well written and easy to follow. I especially enjoyed choosing a range of my colours for the heart. The pattern includes a grafter colour when plotting out your colour choices. Very handy. This would be an excellent stash busting project. If you love granny squares, then this is the pattern for you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so, so much. And then the fourth pattern, this is a freebie. Freebie alert, freebie alert. Okay, this heart granny square block is made by crochet designer Anita and their tag is made by Anita. <sighs> I really, really, I know I've said that about everything. I love it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm just so into granny squares, obviously, and I absolutely adore this heart block. Now, you may or may not know that I've actually released a blanket that is, it's got a heart on it. And you can see a miniature version there. And then I have another blanket that's got a heart with granny squares that's in the testing stage at the moment, plus another design brewing in my head. What can I say? I love granny squares and I just, I have so much love for my designs. They have to include hearts at the moment. And so when I saw this design, I was like, I have to make it. And it just goes to show that the possibilities really are endless when it comes to hearts and granny squares because this is another designer that has made a heart out of granny squares and yet it's so so different to mine similar but different you know what i'm saying um this block would complement my patterns perfectly like i think i need to make this one as well basically this heart block is part of the memento blanket and there are 12 squares in total, all of which are free. And there is an orange. Now, if you were here during my pregnancy, you will know that the thing that I craved above anything else was oranges. So now I feel that I also need to make the orange block. It's a free download. As I said, you can get all 12 blocks for free, which is amazing. And you can download that on the madebyanita.co.uk website. Again, everything is linked below. And I also went on the hashtag so I could see other people like the testers and people that have since purchased the patterns. I could see their versions. It's gorgeous. That's definitely one to add to your queue. Now let's go into the granny squares must see. You need to check out these paintings of a blanket stack. Oh my gosh. So it's at Cindy underscore Rizza, R-I-Z-Z-A. And they have a stack of blankets, granny square and quilted. And then they paint them. 
and they're so realistic that when I when it was on my explore page I could see they had a paintbrush and I was like why are they dabbing that granny square with a paintbrush and then I realized it's because they'd painted them like what so so talented and also I have questions do you make the crochet like do you crochet the blankets and then you draw them or have you like been gifted them did you thrift them like where did they come from imagine if this person takes the time to crochet the blanket and then draws it as well and my other question is can i get a drawing of my granny squares and my blanket stack like you can see a bit of it behind and then also i have these ones can i get a painting of this please oh my gosh like you can sell the original can you just um give me a copy of the print so i can have it on my wall maybe we could go into like partnership and we could do <sighs> we could do so many things because granny squares this person's talent is insane second must see is at olivia domingos wow they made a granny square hood for her dog have a look have a look I will forever have a soft spot for the Sighthound dog breed. We have had whippets and lurchers and so on ever since I was quite young. And now this dog, her dog, I believe it's called Peanut, is right on trend with a granny square of balaclava. Gorgeous. And maybe, maybe I need to meet one for Albie. Now the third must see is Knit Trolley. The crochet bags by Alive. Oh my gosh, you have to see the granny bags. Now they make these bags and they sell them um, on their Etsy store. So you can get yourself a bag. And I'm hoping one day that they might decide to sell the patterns because I love making granny square bags. And I feel like these would really complement what I have already designed and made for myself. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so there you go there's like 20 minutes of all the granny square things that you really 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 need to see <sighs> absolutely love it that is everything in today's i heart granny square edit please please comment below with your favorite discovery from today's edit what is it that you are glad that you've seen the most like is there a pattern you really want to make or something that just has blown you away comment below with that and make sure to like this video so that i know that you've enjoyed it and that you want to see more of these i would happily make the i heart granny square edit a regular feature so please like this video so that i know that that is something you want to see and also if you go follow anybody that i've mentioned today then make sure that you let them know that i sent you because i would love for them to see this video i'm going to tag them on instagram and let them know that i've mentioned them but you know how it is sometimes mentions get buried and i'd love for them to know that i've spoken to spoken to them well yes hi i absolutely love all of your work i'd love for them to know that i have spoken about them on here and that they're just everyone is just so insanely talented and it's really nice to find people that love granny squares as much as i do second must see is at olivia domin domingo domingos domingos that was difficult why have you made that so difficult for yourself it's not hard First of all, I'll eat your brains. <laughs> Stop. 